Hello everyone. So in today's video we're going to be talking about the free BMW apps available to download from the App Store. These particular apps can be used to interact with your BMW and in today's video I'm going to show you what each app does and the benefits of them. So the first thing we're going to do here is go into the App Store. I'm using my iPhone 8 for this. Just type in BMW and as you can see BMW Connected comes up as one of the first apps. But if you go down here and click Developer BMW Group, this brings up all of the applications associated with BMW and of course Mini. Now as you can see here, I actually have three apps downloaded and the first one is My BMW. On the third page, I have BMW Connected and on the last page, I have the BMW Driver's Guide. But you can download whatever app here suits you best or whatever one you think you need. So going over here to the actual applications themselves, we're going to start with the driver's guide because I don't really have to talk too much about this. Now I should mention when you want to use these apps, you're going to have to first set up an account. Now it's very straightforward, but the one thing you're going to need is your vehicle's VIN number, which is located at the bottom left of the windscreen of your car. Now when you have to put in the VIN number, you're going to have a code sent to the actual car. Now you're going to need that code to verify the account. So you want to power on the car, go into the iDrive system and scroll over to connect the drive. Once in there, you're going to type in that code and then that is the last part, I believe, of setting up your account. So it's just to verify the car and it connects the car then with your applications. So in this driver's guide, you got everything from the owner's handbook all the way down to PDF manuals. And if I actually click into how to, it brings you to the BMW YouTube channel where you find a playlist and it gives you all sorts of videos and helpful advice on how to operate certain aspects of the applications and tell you more about the car. Now if I click on the little magnifying glass here on the bottom right, you can find out anything you want about your car through pictures, text or smart scan. Now I'm going to go to the smart scan thing in just a moment because it's a pretty cool feature that I've never seen before. But you can also go to animations if I click in here. It'll tell you things about the auto stop start or sorry auto start stop function, cruise control, dynamic stability control, park distance controllers, and so on. It's a very simple and easy application to use, and it's very easy to just search through. For example, I can type in, let's say, gearbox, and then I got two results here. Click into the automatic gearbox, and it just shortcuts you over here, and it tells you everything you want to know about it. This here is very handy. It means that if you're sitting in your house and there's something about your car that you want to know, instead of having to go out to the car and read for the owner's manual, you can simply pull out your phone and look at it from here. But what I want to do now is show you the smart scan because this is a pretty cool nifty feature and it's very useful. Okay, so I'm just going to power the car on. And as you can see, all the symbols just come up on the dash there. So, I'll just take the phone, I have the smart scan enabled. So if I just aim it here at the parking brake light, okay, it's recognized it. And down here it's telling me parking brake. The parking brake is used to prevent the vehicle from rolling when it's parked. Now, obviously a lot of these sorts of symbols are very obvious to people. Everybody knows what a parking brake light looks like. Everybody knows what the check engine light down there at the bottom looks like. But sometimes your car can throw up a few symbols that you might not be familiar with. So that there is when an app like this comes in very useful. And so if we just go back into pictures, I'll just demonstrate this. If we click number six here, shows me the interior of the car and all of the relevant features here I might want to know about. So if I just click airbags, for example, tells me everything I could ever want to know about the airbags. And this little picture here shows me where all the airbags in the car are located. So that there is the BMW Driver's Guide app that I want to show you. It's very simple and easy to use. It's a great system. It's easy to find out anything you could ever want to know about your BMW through this. And that the smart scan thing, super easy as well. If you see a light or some symbol come up in your dash that you're not familiar with, you can just scan it and the phone will tell you exactly what it is. So we're going to go in here to the main apps. So we're going to start with BMW Connected. So we'll start from the beginning here at vehicle. Now this here again is super easy to use. Um, if I just click 420D at the top right, so it's telling me that that is my car. You can add another vehicle by clicking the plus symbol on the top right of the screen. If 
But in here on the main screen, you can see it tells me that I have 30 liters of fuel or 467 kilometers of total range left. Below that, it tells me last updated today at 15.09. So what that means is that is the last time that my car uh, was used in any sort of way. So I think it maybe detects when the vehicle was last unlocked or last time it was started. So a few minutes ago, of course, I was in the car demonstrating the smart scan feature in the driver's guide app. It's also telling me that the car is locked. If I go down here to information, it tells me about the doors and windows, everything is locked and closed. Check control messages, so tire pressure and engine oil, everything is good there. Required services, so brake fluid, engine oil, vehicle check, tells me when all that stuff is due, gives me the mileage and an approximate date. And enable features, I have everything enabled here. So locate your vehicle, locking, unlocking of the doors, flash the headlights, check the fuel and so on. And it also tells me at the bottom here, my current mileage on the car, which is 87,041 kilometers, gives me the uh, vehicle's uh, V, or sorry, the vehicle identification number, the VIN. And now if we go to remote here, these are the main interesting features of this app. So you can lock, unlock, and flash the headlights of the car. Now this is pretty handy, but there is a bit of a time delay between when you press the icon and when it actually happens. So to unlock the vehicle, I found it takes about 14 seconds from when I click the symbol to when the car actually unlocks. And you know, it's a pretty handy little feature to have, I guess, if you do want to unlock the vehicle uh, without being right next to it for whatever reason. Um, I can't imagine myself ever using this in a real world scenario, but it also gives you the location of the car. So you got your symbols on the right here. So on the top with these cars, if I just zoom out a little bit, this actually changes the terrain for you. So that there is the satellite view. Click it again, and it gives you the basic map view. And then once more, and as you can see, it highlights in green all of the main roads in the area. Now below that is the fuel symbol. Now there seems to be some kind of fault with this, but I'm going to get onto this in just a moment when I go to the uh, My BMW app. Below that, if I click this symbol here, it brings me to where exactly I am at the moment. And the symbol below that is telling me exactly where my car is. So if we go back here, ventilate now and schedule ventilation. These are very handy features in particular in hot summer weather. So if you can imagine you want to drive somewhere the car is very hot and you would like to cool it down before you get in, you can just click ventilate now and confirm it. Or you can schedule a ventilation. Now it's recommended if I click the information button here that you do this at least five minutes from when you get in the car just to give it sufficient time to cool down. And you can just decide what time you want that to come on at. A very handy application. I'll certainly be using that in the summertime if we get really hot weather. Below that then, you have call roadside assistance, very self-explanatory there. Destinations, so this brings up the map and you can just decide where you want to go. So you can, sorry, you can search for car parks, fuel stations and BMW dealers. Activity, again, this brings you back into the map. Some of the features in here are repeated in other uh, screens or other tabs. And then in the hub, this here is where you can find BMW dealers. You can book description or subscription, sorry, explore the BMW Connected Drive Store, and there's various other features down here as well. The BMW app also works, of course, with the uh, Apple Watches too. BMW Driver's Guide, BMW First, everything you could want is in here. So I'll just click BMW First here at random, and we'll see what that is. It brings me on to the BMW website. So let me see, this gives you a few benefits. I think it's really like a few optional extras you can add to your car. Tells me two and one plus gives you a free BMW health check, a 10% discount, um, wiper blade replacements, light bulbs. You can even experience the car at Mondello uh, racetrack, which is located, I believe down in the Dublin area here in Ireland and all sorts of little benefits you can get here for 17 euro 61. There's a whole pile of stuff really to go through here. But if we just go back, I think into the main app itself. Now we can look at the BMW Connected Drive Store. There is an interesting feature in here that I want to show you. 
So if I click, uh, let me see, the little driver's profile, I have to log in. So I can just use my uh, thumbprint to log in through this. Now there's an interesting feature in here where you can actually send a notification from your phone to your car, which again, I'm going to demonstrate now. So you click the three horizontal lines and go to remote cockpit. And again, gives you a lot of the uh, features in here that you would find in the application that we just went through. It even tells me about the weather forecast in the particular area that my car is located, which is pretty handy. So you want to click into auxiliary heating and ventilation. Scroll down here and you can send, as I said, a note to your car. So I'm just going to demonstrate that now. So just click into notifications and this is the note I sent to the car. BMW have been making cars since 1928 and it tells me what time it was sent at as well. And if I go back, unfortunately you can only read your notifications once so you can't store it into the car's uh, hard drive or anything like that. You read it once and then it's gone. And then we just go into the more section few basic features in here. You can go into your profile, you can look at your name and change it if you wish, reset your password, change your PIN number, and then you just have some other basic things here. In the settings, you can also adjust how much uh, battery has been used, so standard or lower battery usage, and a few other things there for you to play around with. So those really are the main features of the connected drive application. Now you're going to see a lot of these features over here in my BMW. So these two applications basically communicate with each other and they have a lot of the same features. So if I actually pull down on the screen here, it will refresh and it will update the status of my car. So as you can see, 1524 is when I was last in the vehicle doing that last segment there showing the notification in the car. And again, if you just click garage at the top right, you can add a vehicle and it's telling me the current mileage and the VIN number of my own for series located just there. And if you go into remote history, it tells me all the times I locked and unlocked the car or used any of these remote applications on it. I can delete them by clicking the bin on the top right of the screen and delete my history. Apparently there seems to be some sort of error with it at the moment. Yeah, typical that would show up when I'm doing a video, but you can delete your history from there. Dealer services, again, select your dealer and schedule a service all through the application and the connected drive store. Some basic information on my car, model 2017 420 diesel, VIN number, mileage, and the BMW driver's guide, which I was showing you at the beginning of the video. And you can also contact roadside assist from here. And then we have the map again. So let's just say I want to look for BMW dealers. Click here. And it gives you all the BMW dealers in the county or in the country even. And I have a list of them down here. Their exact locations, their error codes, everything you could want is located there. And now if we just clear that, you can go into your profile, change your profile picture. Again, you can go through all of your basic settings, frequently asked questions. And that really is the long and short of it. That is the BMW applications in full. As I said, these are very handy applications to have. If you have modern day BMW, they're very easy to use and it's very good at telling you where your car is. If somebody is out driving your car or somebody gets into your car with your keys, the app here tells you when it was last unlocked, what time and date, and if somebody's been driving your car, it even tells you about your fuel consumption and it gives you an exact location of your vehicle as well. So overall, I do like the BMW apps. They are very handy and easy to use. The driver's guide is great if you want to know something about your car. And then all the extra little kind of gimmicks and features like locking, unlocking the car, flashing the lights, all handy things to have. But Overall, I think the ventilation now is definitely going to be one of the more useful apps, especially for those of you living in hot climates and you want to air out your car before you start driving it, cool it down a little bit and use the ventilation uh, application here in Connected Drive. 
So everybody, I hope you found this video useful or even somewhat entertaining perhaps. There is a few cool things in there like being able to send notifications to your car which could be very useful if you uh, want to remember something very important and you just want to send it directly to the car from here. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.